I can feel the chord progression coming to in the air tonight just now I'm gonna show you the flashy version of this song right now Yes I am, ladies and gentlemen it is Wednesday, and that means we're going to do some chords for this song that are going to be a bit cooler than the traditional chords for the song, which are basically A minor, G, and F. So let's get straight into that right now. So A minor, at the intro I'm doing an A suspended 2. Nothing changes with that, so it's pretty easy. Then we've got the chords, um, A minor. But I, what I do is a little first, first finger off and on thing. This is one of the things I do with A minor. Hear that? What I'm doing there? Little hammer on. So I'm hammering on after the first strum. Or sometimes I might do all the chords. That's kind of cool too. So I'm hammering on the entire chord. Another thing I might be doing with the A minor is an A minor seventh chord. So an A minor seventh is just the third finger off. But what I tend to do is put my little finger on the third fret note on the bottom string. So the notes for that, if you go from the zero on the fifth string, which are nothing on the top string, zero, two, zero, one, three. Okay? Gives you that chord there, and so it sounds kind of nice. And I use that also for um, Fields of Gold, actually. It's the same chord shape. And then for the G, there's your standard G chord. What I do sometimes, I do either a hammer on on the second fret of my first for my first finger just comes off and I hammer it on or I might bring my first finger down completely off that note and put it on the second fret of the third string so it makes the bottom three strings sound like that and my second finger is actually muting the uh, fifth string so there's a G normally I bring my first finger down and I just angle my finger slightly, my second finger, it's very subtle this, I just angle it so it stops that second, or the, this fifth string from ringing. So the rest of them sound like, like this. And, it, and I might even do some hammer-ons with that first finger as well, okay? So I might go from the G. Can you hear that colour change? that note's changing. Okay, so that's that's pretty much all I do with the with the G chord. I might just hammer-ons. That's about it with that chord. Then the F chord. We've got the Hendrix chord we can do. So the way the Hendrix chord is done, my thumb is heavily involved with this one. My thumb comes over the top and ends up playing the F note, which is the first fret note. The next string's muted. The third finger plays the third fret. On the next string, then it's next string. Uh, the next note after that is a zero, which is the third string. Then my first finger is playing the first fret of the second string, and then my little finger is playing the third fret of the first string. So the notes for that, and tab-wise, thumb is doing the one on the top string, mute on the next string. Then it's three, zero, one, three. So the bottom four strings is really is a beautiful little shape, and we're just adding the thumb note of the F. So that sometimes I might do like with the F chord, I might actually put my little, little finger off and on for that. So I might do something like that with my first finger flat on the two strings at the bottom. Now that's a hard chord to do, so don't be too worried if you can't do that exactly right with the F chord. It's a tricky one, you need kind of a large hand to be able to get your finger over the th uh, the top to play that properly and you'll find it's a different position to your bar chord F. Your thumb's actually really high so therefore your thumb comes over the top and you keep your hand quite close to the guitar. And that's the three chords. So you've got A minor, A minor seventh, little finger, we've got a G where our first finger comes down and then we've got, you can do a basic F if you want to or you can do the Hendrix chord which I call the Hendrix chord. That's one version of it. There's so many different ways we can do this song. And another way I kind of like doing is the A minor, just doing it standard. Then the next chord, instead of doing a G chord, I do an A minor or an A suspended two chord with a G bass. So my little finger will play the G bass note. Gives you that chord there, which is, I'll give you the tab for that. So three, then it's mute, nothing, okay? Then it's two, two, zero, zero. So that's my G chord, instead of doing a G, I'm doing an A suspended 2 chord with a G bass. And then sometimes you can even get real tricky and do the, keep that, those same two fingers on. My first finger is going to do the F note, for the, this is for the F chord, and my little finger is going to do the third, finger, uh, third fret note on the fourth string. So you end up with um, kind of a spooky sounding F. 
So if you did like a, a picking version, or like a, like just like a. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh Lord. So you can do stuff like that with it as well. So that's the obviously picking version of it. You can do with the strum. Feel it coming in the air tonight, oh Lord. So you can hear those little things going on in there within that. So that's even getting a little bit more, I guess, uh, away from the basic chord version of it, but really nice sounding. I hope you agree that it's really nice sounding. If you're into finger style, that sounds kind of cool too. sort of a classical gas sort of sound to it if you do that sort of stuff. So there we have it, some a whole bunch of different ways of playing that song. So whenever you see an A minor, you can do an A minor, you can do an A minor seventh, you can do an A suspended two, you can do a hammer on, any of those options. And whenever you see a G, you can do a G, you can you can add, you can just do a normal G, that's fine. Or if you want to add some different nuances to the G, or do the A suspended two version with the G bass, it still sounds kind of cool. When, when you see an F, you can do basic F, or you can do the, the Hendrix chord F, or you can do the A minor with the add, extra added fingers to get that spooky chord going on. Now, there's lots of options, and there's many more we can do as you get better and better at guitar. But there's a cool uh, bunch of chords you can do just to substitute the basic, um, not as exciting chords that you might have started with. Now, the basic chords are awesome. There's nothing wrong with them. So you, but you just might be at the stage where, you know what, I'm going to make this thing sound really, really awesome. And so these things are going to make your chords, I call them awesomizing your chords, cool name that we came up with, me and John. I think John came up with that name to be honest, but I'm stolen, I've stolen it from him and that's how it's going to be. Right John? Just have to put up with it. Hey, if you like this guitar lesson and you want to hear more of this sort of stuff, please leave your comments down below because I read every single comment. That's right, if it goes bling at 3am, I will stop what I'm doing that's right, I will stop it. And I will have a look at that phone and read that comment out loud to all my friends that are in that room. I will actually do that. So if you think you would like to say something about my lessons or you've, you've got some words of encouragement, or you've got a question you'd like to ask or anything, or you just want to make some horrendous statement towards me, put that comment on there below and I'd love to read it. And if you like my lessons, please subscribe, tell all your friends, share the stuff, let everyone know about this stuff because this is kind of cool that I can come and do this from all the way from New Zealand. If I'm making these videos and you guys are watching these videos, I will keep making these videos so you can keep watching their videos. You can see the cycle happening right here. Can you see the cycle? See the pattern? My name is Mike the Guitar Guy. I love you guys. I can't wait to see you guys again soon. For comments on Friday, I'm going to answer some questions. We'll see you guys next time. Catch you later.